Hello guys. So this is your ophthalmology guru, Dr. Neha Agrawal, and I'll be talking about the INICT ophthalmology questions. Next question, the nerve causing the movement of the eyeball are all except. Now this is again a very simple question. Uh, like students told me that they got a cadaveric section showing the base of the skull with so many nerves and this is one thing that they are asking continuously. And as I always say that uh, this thing will help you like anything, you should know that all of the extra ocular muscles are supplied by the third nerve except for SO4 and LR6. So, so what we say, it is the third nerve, fourth nerve and the sixth nerve which are usually uh, responsible for the ocular motility okay now if you look at the options now here i have written the names uh, be, uh, because i do not know what that what structure they had marked a b c d but uh, uh, supposingly they have marked a as optic nerve b as the oculomotor nerve c as a trochlear nerve and d as a abducent nerve so in that case your answer will be a optic nerve because you know optic nerve is your afferent nerve this is the afferent nerve not only for the visual pathway it is the afferent nerve not only for the visual pathway but also for the pupillary reflexes for the pupillary reflex pathway also this is the afferent nerve so if the optic nerve is um, not intact then we are getting what you called as uh, rapd then we are also getting the complete anopia on that side or the complete blindness on that side so optic nerve has nothing to do with the ocular motility so you should be well versed with the anatomy okay what are the nerves going on what are the canals in the foramen so this is your related anatomy part you should be thorough with them as far as the ophthalmology part is concerned you should know this that all the extracular muscles are supplied by the third nerve except for so4 and lr6 so for the ocular motility the nerves that are required will be third fourth and sixth right